Thank you so much for joining me today for the Tuesday Truth of the Week. If you could have a superpower, which evil force would you like to beat? Today, we are going to meet two men who were prisoners of an evil, strong power. But we will see how Jesus was even stronger, that Jesus always wins. Let's read together from the book of Matthew, that's in the New Testament, the very beginning, chapter 8, verses 28 to 34. When Jesus arrived at the other side in the region of the Gadarenes, two demon-possessed men coming from the tombs met him. They were so violent that no one could pass that way. What do you want with us, son of God? They shouted. Have you come here to torture us before the appointed time? Some distance from them, a large herd of pigs was feeding. The demons begged Jesus, If you drive us out, send us into the herd of pigs. He said to them, Go! So they came out and went into the pigs, and the whole herd rushed down the steep bank into the lake and died in the water. Those tending the pigs ran off went into the town and reported all this, including what had happened to the demon-possessed men. Then the whole town went out to meet Jesus. And when they saw him, they pleaded with him to leave their region. So when Jesus got out of the boat, he came across these two men. They were under the control of an evil power. They were like puppets and they couldn't control themselves. And under the control of this evil power, these men hurt other people. People were so scared of them that they stayed far away. How do you think that these men felt? When the evil powers saw Jesus, they knew exactly who he was. And they begged Jesus, if he was going to send them away, that he would send them into the pigs. Now, even though other people were scared of these two men, Jesus wasn't afraid of evil powers. He just told them to go. They went out of the men and into the pigs and all the pigs rushed into the water and died. The people in the town who looked after the pigs were afraid. They ran away and spread the news in the town about what just happened. And the people in the town all wanted Jesus to leave. They saw how Jesus had power over evil spirits, and that made them scared. There's so much fear in the story, but the only one here who was never afraid was Jesus. The evil spirits had control over the men, but Jesus was more powerful and had control over the evil. So for us today, we don't really see people who are controlled by evil spirits anymore. But the devil, God's enemy, still likes to make people feel afraid. He wants people to disobey God, to turn away from him and to not trust Jesus. Sometimes people give in to what the devil says and they believe him instead of God. But... Jesus, as we saw last week, has power over sickness and power over creation, and he is even stronger than the devil or any other evil thing. Jesus is not scared. And in the fight between good and evil, Jesus, who is always good, will always win. He has already won. He died on the cross for our sin, but he also rose again, and that shows us that he has power over our two greatest enemies, and that is sin and death. Even death has no power over Jesus. Is there anything evil in the world that you maybe feel afraid of? How does this true story that we heard today help you in those times? Let's close our eyes and pray, and I want you to thank Jesus for everything you have learned about him today. Jesus, thank you so much that you have power over everything, even evil. Thank you that in the fight against evil, you always win. And when we trust in you, we do not have to be afraid. Jesus, thank you for being kind to those men 
and for being kind to us. Help us to trust you more every day. Amen. Thank you so much for watching. I really want to encourage you to share this with some friends you have so that they can get to know Jesus too. And join me next week where we will see another reason why we all need Jesus. Jesus.